ultimately, it is the customers who define the value of innovation. That's right. Uh, this is a corollary, really, to the idea that ultimately all businesses are service businesses. Um, we are, you know, I think it was Peter Drucker who said the purpose of a business is to get and keep a customer. Um, and the, uh, what we're saying here in this statement is when we are innovating uh, to create value, ultimately it's the customer who is going to be the judge of that. Uh, and if we succeed in delighting our customers, uh, we can do great, great things. Uh, if, however, we have a very strong uh, research and development capability, very good science, very good technology, but we don't have the right business model, we haven't figured out who the customer really is or what that customer really needs, uh, I've seen lots of great technology projects, uh, not only the ones out of Xerox Park, but out of many other R&D laboratories, where they truly struggle to turn it into a business. Uh, one final data point here is if uh, when you look at Apple financially and you look at how much money they're spending on R&D, they're not spending all that much money on R&D, certainly nothing in relation to what they've got to show for it. Uh, the biggest research and development spenders are the automotive companies, uh, the petroleum companies, the pharmaceutical industry, um, and yet companies like Apple spending less money are getting a great deal more out of the money they're spending. And I think it has to do with this uh, thinking about the customer's experience at the center of what you're doing. Not just thinking about the product, but thinking about the services that wrap around the product and create something we haven't talked about yet, this idea of a platform. A platform being something that you build that's an architecture or a scaffolding uh, that delivers a solution uh, to a customer's problem, but invites many others to build alongside or on top of what you're doing. And I think Apple's a nice example of a company who's getting so much leverage out of their internal R&D spending because they're very good at integrating and connecting with external participants uh, in these platforms that they're building.